In the essay, Anti Sic de Loritis discusses the feminist debate over essentialism, which arises from structuralist and post structuralist thought. Identity is always articulated within a system of differences and is never fixed. Structuralists argue that woman means something, not in relation to any essential quality of womanhood, but in distinction to other categories, like maleness. D. Loritis proposes a new move by turning towards feminism's essential differences, which bring both sides of the debate together. Feminism's essential difference lies in its historical specificity. The particular conditions of its emergence and development, its assumptions and forms of address, the constraints that have attended its conceptual and methodological struggles, the erotic component of its political self awareness, and the absolute novelty of its radical challenge to social life itself. The term essentialism covers a range of metacritical meanings. And strategic uses that go the very short distance from convenient label to buzzword. However, few would deny that feminist theory is all about an essential difference, an irreducible difference, though not a difference between woman and man, nor a difference inherent in woman as nature. The essential difference of feminism lies in its historical specificity. The particular conditions of its emergence and development, its assumptions and forms of address, the constraints that have attended its conceptual and methodological struggles, the erotic component of its political self awareness, and the absolute novelty of its radical challenge to social life itself. The concept of essence can be divided into two categories. Absolute being, which refers to the reality underlying phenomena, and that which constitutes the being of a thing. In two different applications, nominal essence and real essence, both are used to describe the essence of a conceptual entity and a real entity. For most feminists, the essence of woman is more like the essence of the triangle. Than the essence of the thing in itself. This struggle is the historical development and specific difference of feminist theory. The essence of the triangle. D. Loritis aims to shift the focus of feminist theoretical debates from feminist essentialism to the historical specificity and essential difference of feminist theory itself. It draws on two essays by Chris Whedon and Linda Alcoff, which prompted the reflection on the uses of essentialism in current Anglo American feminist critical writing. The essential difference of feminist theory must be looked for in the form as well as the contents of its political, personal, critical, and textual practices. As well as in the diverse oppositional stances feminism has taken vis vis social and cultural formations. Post structuralist feminism, a late comer and winner of the feminist theory contest, is often seen as the first stage of feminist intervention. However, this theory emphasizes historical specificity and social change. Disregarding the actual historical changes in Western culture brought about by the women's movement and feminist critical writing over the past 20 years, this irony may lie in the apologetic and militant project of Whedon's book, which defends post structuralism, viz., viz. both academic establishment and the general educated reader. But with an eye to the women's studies corner of the publishing market. Alcoff's essay, Cultural Feminism versus Post Structuralism The Identity Crisis in Feminist Theory, goes much further than its title suggests. 
As the notion of identity becomes an active shifter in the feminist discourse of women, she finds two major categories of responses to the dilemma or the paradox of women. Cultural feminists have replaced the defining of women with a more accurate description and appraisal, while post structuralist responses reject the possibility of defining women altogether. And replace the politics of gender or sexual difference with a plurality of differences where gender loses its position of significance. The narrative structure underlying Whedon's account of feminist theories is that of a contest where one actor successively engages and defeats or conquers several rivals. Alcoff's account develops as a dialectic. With both the culturalist and post structuralist positions showing internal contradictions. If woman is a fiction, a locus of pure difference and resistance to logocentric power, and if there are no women as such, then the very issue of women's oppression would appear to be obsolete, and feminism itself would have no reason to exist. Which is a corollary of post structuralism and the stated position of those who call themselves post feminist. D. Loretis discusses the contradictions in mainstream feminist views and the need for a theory of the subject that avoids essentialism and nominalism. She points to the work of some theorists, who she rejoins in developing her notion of woman as positionality. In becoming a feminist, women take up a position, a point of perspective, from which to interpret or reconstruct values and meanings. This position is also a politically assumed identity and one relative to their socio historical location. Essentialist definitions would have woman's identity or attributes independent of her external situation. However, the positions available to women in any socio historical location are neither arbitrary nor undecidable. D. Loretis questions why it is necessary to set up two opposing categories cultural feminism and post structuralism or essentialism. And anti essentialism. Thesis and antithesis. When one has already achieved the vantage point of a theoretical position that overtakes them or sublates them, the insistence on the essentialism of cultural feminists reproduces and keeps in the foreground an image of dominant feminism that is at least reductive, at best, tautologic or superseded. And at worst, not in our interests. Feminist theory is not of a lower grade than that which some call name mal theory, but different in kind. And it is its essential difference, the essence of that triangle, that concerns the author as a theorist of feminism. The history of feminism is a complex and multifaceted subject that has been marked by debates. Internal divisions and polarizations. These divisions have resulted from the social and cultural formations it has engaged with, such as gender, sex, race, class, ethnicity, and sexuality. Feminist theory has developed a series of oppositional stances, both vis vis the wider external context, social constraints. Legislation, ideological apparati, dominant discourses, representations against which feminism has pitched its critique and political strategies, in particular historical locations, and its own internal self critical processes. In the 1970s, the debates on academic feminism versus activism in the United States. Defined an opposition between theory and practice, leading to polarization of positions either for or against theory in nearly all cultural practices. Subsequently, 
the internal division of the movement over the issue of separatism or menstruating led to the practice theory opposition in terms of lesbian versus heterosexual identification and of women's studies versus feminist cultural theory. This opposition led to both polarization and efforts to overcome it by an expanded, flexible, and ultimately unsatisfactory redefinition of the notion of feminist theory itself. Since the mid 1980s, the so called feminist sex wars have pitched pro sex feminists versus the anti pornography movement in a conflict over representation that recasts the sex gender distinction to the form of a paradoxical opposition. Sex and gender are either collapsed together and rendered both analytically and politically indistinguishable, Mackinnon, Hartsock or, they are severed from each other and seen as endlessly recombinable in figures of boundary crossing, such as transsexualism, transvestism, bisexualism, drag and impersonation, and cyborgs, Haraway. This account of the history of feminism suggests that two concurrent drives, impulses or mechanisms are at work in the production of itself, representation, an erotic, narcissistic drive that enhances images of feminism as difference, rebellion, daring, excess, subversion, disloyalty, agency, empowerment, pleasure, and danger and an ethical drive that works towards community, accountability, entussment, sisterhood, bonding, belonging to a common world of women or sharing what Adrienne Rich has poignantly called the dream of a common language.